You can purchase these for five fifty. Sorry. <laughs> what are you? I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. No, it's okay. Let them hear it. Uh, sorry. No, you just want to be in the video. I don't want to. Yeah, you do. You want to be in the video. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about my fragrance collection. It was a requested video and I thought that it would be great to share my growing collection of fragrances. Just to give you some context, I have built my fragrance collection very quickly over a short period of time. I used to only interchange between three and now I've grown into many because I have been gifted a lot and then I end up keeping it because I do appreciate the scent. I've also been venturing, smelling various perfumes and then really liking it, getting recommended and all of that. So now I have 19 fragrances that I own and they are all organized in our super system, which is from the everyday. They are adjustable dividers in which you can organize the different things that you own. It is very versatile and all I need to do is just put this back into my beauty closet in a nice cool dark place, which is a recommended storage for fragrances. So what I want to do today is I'm going to just talk about each of the scent and why I have kept it. So so just to let you know, a lot of my fragrances are centered around floral and fruity. I've always loved floral fruity scents. So we're going to talk about our new everyday poof perfumes. There are six different scents. I love, love, love our new packaging. Just this reminds me of mahjong. When you play mahjong, this is the sound. I don't know why I love that sound so much. It just feels very sophisticated. And I just love our new packaging. Uh, we used to have colored bottles, but it just got really difficult, especially because we wanted to expand and having to get them to like capture the right color. It just didn't seem very environmentally friendly that we just kept repeating the process. So I just said, we should just go for one bottle. Then we don't need to keep testing the different colors and it just worked out in that way. And it is very simple and this is really nice, beautiful. So I'm gonna talk about our first three. Our first three fragrances that came out, they were reformulated because we wanted to last longer. We also improved our spray nozzle and also our packaging as well. So the first three scents that I'm gonna talk about are Citrus Laundry, which was formerly known as Rise, and then Spring Fling, which is formerly known as Bloom. Then we have San Seto, which was formerly known as Dust. These are our first three scents. Okay, so Citrus Laundry is our top scent when we first sold on Lazada. It was a number one scent on the platform and it, we sold out super quickly. It is a nice, fresh, citrusy scent. It is a little bit stronger on the citrus and I really like it. It just smells like you got out of the shower and has a nice lemony orange zest to it. So this is our Citrus Laundry, formerly known as Rise. We were the second most popular, well, we only have three. And this was number two on Lazada for a really long time. This one was Spring Fling, this is called Bloom. And this one has a nice candy, floral, fruity scent. It reminds me of my teenage years and it reminds me of the Escada scents that I used to wear. You wanna smell like a teenager? This is the scent for you. I really love it. This is the scent that Tony chose. This is the scent that I chose, Citrus Lounge, because I like citrus floral scents. Next is San Seto. So San Seto, formerly known as Dusk, is our most like gender neutral scent. A lot of people are like, what are the fragrances for men? And I really kind of like to stay away from that because I feel like anyone can wear whatever scent they want. You don't need to associate a scent to a particular gender. We are above that now. So this one I would say is catered towards or more male friendly. That's what people like. That's what a lot of men prefer, but this is more on the muskier scent and it has a woody note. And when we chose it, I didn't want it to be too heavy. I still wanted that really grounded smell, but it's just a little bit lighter. So this is Sanseto. Then moving on to our next three scents, these are actually my favorite scents now. The next scent is called Yuzu. Now Yuzu is another citrus floral scent, but it has a hint of vanilla in it. It has like a nice orange mandarin scent mixed with vanilla. So it has a nice powdery scent as well. It just feels very powdery, but on the citrusy end. I keep smelling it because it smells so good. Next is our Rosenberry. 
It has a very nice rose scent. It's light, it's not too heavy, and it's also very powdery in feel. A lot of people ask us what our most powdery scent is, but a lot of them are leaning towards more citrus and floral, so it's hard to really say what's absolutely powdery, so we never really answer that properly. We kind of just say a lot of our scents are leaning towards more of the citrus and floral ends, but these are our most powdery scents. And the last is Nectarini. This is my current favorite go-to scent. This is just so, so, so good. It feels very local in that it has a nice Sampaguita scent. It doesn't have any Sampaguita in it, but floral, fruity, citrusy, and very sweet. So nice. There's some people that do a way better job at describing it, but this is my favorite scent. All right, then we are going to move on to the first about the three scents that I have for Machino on this side. This one is the Fresh Couture. This one is Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum, and I love, love Moschino. Now, I love the Moschino fragrances. They are usually a mix of floral and fruity. This one smells like bubblegum, just like it's advertised. Then we have the Moschino Gold, and then we have the I Love Love. So I Love Love is a very citrusy scent. It just smells like a nice citrus scent. Then, this one is from Moschino Gold. This one has more of a mix of like a vanilla, woody, citrus scent. I believe it's floral fruity. Their packaging is always super unique. Like, look at this, all very, very different. It's just not very convenient to carry around, but it's nice to look at individually. They're all unique on its own. This one is citrusy, sweet, and aromatic. And then we have a floral fruity scent from this. And then of course, this is a bubblegum scent. Now, I really love the packaging. It's very unique, although it's the most inconvenient one out of all the different ones that I have. Moving forward, we have this Lan Van scent. It's the Modern Princess. I really like this scent. This was recommended by Tony. And I remember we were talking about our favorite scents. This was one of her favorite scents. This is actually Alex's or Kathy's favorite scent, I believe. I just really like it because it has a very nice powdery smell. It feels like you just got out of the shower and then you have like baby powder on you, but like elevated baby powder. Just super love it. Then we have this Jimmy Choo, which is a floral fruity scent as well. This one is Jimmy Choo Floral. So it has a floral citrusy scent. I have used two of these already. I actually bought the smaller 50 ml one and then I kind of upgraded into a bigger size. These are really, really nice. And the reason why I love it is it just smells like a nice floral breeze that just passes by. And that's exactly the goal that I like. Just a nice whiff and nice powdery light scent. And the thing about me is that I love citrus and floral scents. And as long as they're light and not too invasive and musky and strong, then I'm good with that. This one is the California Dream by Louis Vuitton. And this is one of the newer fragrances that I have. This is a little bit more on the muskier side, but it's not too heavy and strong that it's overpowering. And I love the packaging. This is like musky floral fruity. So it's a little bit more mature and elevated. And well, all of the ones that I have are very elevated in choice. Let me just say that. Every single thing about it is simplicity executed in a nice simple format, but feels very expensive. And that's what I appreciate about like some of these high-end fragrance bottles is that they're so simple but it just feels very elegant and elevated and class. Okay, so the most fragrances from a brand that I have is from Dior and I have four different perfumes from Dior. I just really love their line. They're very original in the scent and also it just feels very young, hip, millennial, fresh and that's really what I'm trying to go for. Just stay young, people. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, Pat's like so weird. So these are the four that I have, the Miss Dior EDP, the Gris Dior, this was also gifted. This is the new look. It's super nice. I really love Dior perfumes, just how simple it is and just very nice. Diorissima and then Rose Gypsy. I would like to say that the Rose Gypsy and Miss Dior are leaning towards more of like the rosy floral scents. This one is a little bit more like a fresh rose petal scent. This one has a hint of fruit and that's what I really like about it. Both of them are very light and airy and 
just kind of like a breeze. This one is citrus floral and this is the Diorissima. This also feels night. It is bordering more on the powdery side. I really, really like this as well. And then this is more of the mature scent. This is a muskier scent, but it doesn't feel too heavy. The thing about like musky scents, they are very nice, but sometimes it just feels a little bit like old people. That's the thing about muskier scents. Like it just reminds me of my grandma. And that's what I really appreciate about the Dior scents. The next scent was actually gifted to me. I ended up keeping it. I got the candle and also the perfume and it just smells really good. This one is from Replica and it's Maison Margiela. Don't kill me about pronunciation. I am not the pronunciation expert, but this one is called Lazy Sunday Morning and it just smells like fresh bed linen. And I just really love it. It just smells like you got out of the bed. It's just really nice. The smell of fresh sheets. That's exactly how I want to smell like sometimes. It's exactly what it is. Fragrance description, soft skin and bed linen. That's what you're going for. You should get that. Next is this Hugo Boss scent. I actually just went around. I remember I was in SM Aura and then I was just kind of looking for this. And then this guy kept pushing this fragrance. And you know what he said? He's like, this is what Ann Curtis wears. And I was like, okay, well, if Ann Curtis wears, it must smell really good. And then when I smelled it, it smells super good. And it's just fruity notes and a light fresh linen scent. I like the light scents. It's really nice. Highly recommend. Then next we have Jisoo. Jisoo is this hair infused hair perfume. This one is by Nejin Marseille. I don't even know how to pronounce her name, but Jisoo has a lot of great hair products and I was just curious about their honey perfume and it smells really nice. It smells just like honey and it's captured in a fragrance and you can spray it on your hair. I'd probably get the bigger version once I finish this, but this is really nice. Our poof scents are available on Lazada, Shopee, and also on our website, everyday.ph. So you can purchase these for five fifty. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What are you? I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. No, it's okay. Let them hear it. Uh, sorry. No, you just want to be in the video. I don't want to be in the video. Yeah, you do. Want you want to be in the video. This, I highly recommend. I always, people are like, what's your most popular scent? I know our most popular scent is citrus laundry, but I always recommend this one, Nectarini. It's also Tony's favorite, Nectarini. It's a nice cocktail citrus concoction. And these are also available in the Dior store. But that's my fragrance collection, everyone. Let's answer some questions. So what is my favorite scent, my go-to scent currently? It's the Diorissima and Nectarini. Of course, one is more affordable than the other and can last for a very long time. I guarantee if you are into floral citrusy concoctions, this one is for you. And this one by Diorissima, it's pretty expensive. What was my favorite go-to scent at one point? This one by Jimmy Choo, because I purchased two of these at this point. And then also Lamva. And my OG scent, I love love. So like one of the first, aside from the Escada perfumes that I purchased. And a nice light hair mist that I use is the Jisoo. And then of course our Rosenberry and Yuzu scents. I have really loved our new scents. So I've been gravitating towards those more. And yeah, if you have any questions about fragrances or if you have any comments about how bad my descriptions are, you can leave them in the comment section down below. But that is it. This is my fragrance collection. I hope this has interested you in some way. This was a really requested video. So yes, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.